Hi everyone, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name's Jen, and in today's video we're going to make a cupcake liner pom-pom. I just finished this and I am actually really excited by how simple, straight and straightforward it is and how much bang for your buck you get. It's very attractive, would be perfect for a wedding or all sorts of different direct decorations, something to decorate for, um, obviously Christmas has just passed, but for New Year's or uh, even for Valentine's Day. Okay, so how do you like put this together? It looks pretty complicated, right? It's actually really straightforward. You need cupcake liners. So it doesn't matter what size, it doesn't matter what the pattern is. Um, they will all change the final outcome, obviously, but you can get really creative with these. You can color them, and if you want a tutorial on how to uh, how to color them, please let me know. I'm happy to uh, to show you that. So once you've separated your cupcake liner, you're going to fold it in half. So you get this half circle look. You're going to fold that in half again. Doesn't have to be super precise, but the more precise it is, the more accurate your um, final ball will be, the smoother it will be, but it doesn't really matter. It's fairly forgiving. Then you're going to fold it back on itself, but not quite all the way to the halfway mark. And fold it back across that halfway mark, the same width as what you just folded. Fold it back over itself and again fold it down. So basically I've created a pleat with five sections. One, two, three, four, five. You could do four, you could do six, it's up to you. I find five um, gave a really good uh, final look to it, but it doesn't really matter. And then you make a whole bunch of those. And for the purpose of this video, I only made a few, but you're going to end up making, oh, between 70 or 80, possibly more. So you know how you get them in the sections. I used two and then a few of a full section of these to create the example one. Okay, now you need to decide how to attach it to your styrofoam ball. So we need a styrofoam ball. Doesn't matter what size, the bigger it is, the bigger the ball. And just keep in mind you're going to have your whatever size cupcake holder you have coming off of it and that will determine how big the ball is. So if you're using a really big one with really short cupcakes, it's only going to be slightly bigger than the big one and so on. The larger the ball, the more cupcake liners you're going to need in order to cover it. So a ball this size used two of those sections. We also need a length of ribbon, something really pretty that matches the cupcake liners and a glue gun if you want to go that route. I did not use a glue gun because I actually used a technique that I've used before with beading and styrofoam balls for Christmas ornaments. If you've got a glue gun, that will work just as well, especially if you're making a whole bunch for a wedding, for example. Um, it's a lot faster. Um, neither one is wrong. If you're going to use my beading technique, you're going to need straight pins, sequins, and large seed beads. And just like with the with the cupcake liners, I highly recommend you make a whole bunch of them so that you can do a little bit of an assembly line because you will have to repeat this process possibly up to hundreds of times depending on how big that styrofoam ball is. So, you the, it's very simple. You take your straight pin, thread on a seed bead, and then thread on a sequin. And you're ready to go. So first things first is to find out the dimensions of your final ball. And I suggest doing that by popping on a couple of cupcake liners. So you're going to stick your pin through the center of the cupcake liner or apply a little glue to the outside of the styrofoam ball doesn't matter whichever you are doing and then press the pin all the way in or press the cupcake liner in. Now the reason we pre-folded it is because it'll give it that beautiful 
almost floral effect as we start pressing them together. And do a couple more. Next one is close to maybe a quarter of an inch to a centimeter away from the first one. And of course, again, if you're gluing it, just stick a little more glue and then pop it on. The nice thing about glue guns is that it dries very quickly. Okay, now after you've got a couple attached, now's a good time to attach the ribbon. So you know how far up the ribbon's going to go and it won't get in the way of your final piece. So I would do it a little bit of a distance away from the ones you've just put in and stick at least two pins with the sequin and the seed bead on it. Works kind of like a um, kind of like a spacer for a nut and a bolt. Distributes the pressure onto the onto the ribbon, so it's more likely to stay there. So put two or three on there, and now you've got your string. And then you keep going with your cupcake liners and your pins, or your cupcake liners and your glue, until you've covered the entire surface. There you go. And last tip, as you get towards the end, obviously it's going to get pretty tight, you can press them apart to get the last ones in there. Um, it's not going to hurt the paper, you just don't want it to wrinkle. So slight pressure is good, too much pressure and it'll start to bend and you won't like the outcome. Um, yeah, so there we go. One kissing ball or floral ball, a cupcake liner, pom-pom, whatever you want to call it. I think this would make an amazing gift, but it certainly makes some beautiful decor. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, please subscribe if you like videos like that. There's a lot more coming in the new year and in the next few days. Uh, I also have a lot of videos available on my channel already, and please feel free to go through and check those out as well. Have a good one, you guys. We'll see you soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye.